congratulations on the election. If only that were the case back home. Rishi Sunak flew to Italy for the G7 summit as a poll put the rival Reform Party ahead of the Tories for the first time. If that poll and all these things were replicated on election day, what that would be is handing a blank cheque to Keir Starmer. So I'm going to continue fighting very hard to make sure everyone understands the choice that's ahead of them. This is the point the YouGov polling lines crossed over and reform moved ahead of the Tories. An important moment, even if in most other polls, the Conservatives are still ahead. It puts this man once again in focus. Nigel Farage demanding an invite to TV debates and calling for a head-to-head -head with Sir Keir Starmer. A Conservative vote in the Red Wall is now a wasted vote. We are the challengers to Labour. We are now the real opposition. But with reform unlikely to take many actual seats, what's the end game? Isn't the most realistic way of you becoming leader of the opposition after this election to join the Tories? Can you rule that out? Boring, boring, boring. No, they're done. The brand's done. This isn't just a sort of change that happens election to election. This is a wholesale rejection by a significant number of Conservative voters. Is that you ruling out then? So, no, 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 the brand's broken. It's gone. It's done. Yes, this is only one poll, but moments like this can have a psychological impact in a campaign. And that might be why the Tory line has changed to essentially urging voters not to give Labour a big majority. But that's risky as it comes close to essentially admitting defeat. And if the battle is lost, constituencies like Rochester and Strood in Kent could be crucial. The Tories should be riding high here, but UKIP took this seat a decade ago and at the Temple Farm Working Men's Club, there's some support for reform, but most people simply fed up with the game of politics. What will you be doing come voting day, do you think? Uh, having a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Reform's going to shake the whole barrel up, isn't it? I think, if anything, I'd vote for Nigel. Why? I don't know, I suppose he's like the normal people, ain't he? Like all the others, they're not like us, are they? Still enjoying the trappings of power, but halfway through this campaign, faith may be slipping for a prime minister and a party badly in need of some sort of intervention. Rob Powell, Sky News.